Welcome back everyone. Now we're going to have a look at this, the purple worm. This is the case incentive or the, um, the sort of premium figure for the Fangs and Talons set that's just been released in the UK. It has been out in the United States for a bit longer. So the Fangs and Talons one, uh, the set, as you may guess, is all about teeth and scratching and that sort of stuff. And, you know, the purple worm is no exception. So let's open up this box. So it's, uh, it's my first figure of this size. So very excited by this one. Uh, you know, it's it's not quite uh, sort of small. It's not quite a, a miniature, really, is what I'm trying to say. It's absolutely huge. There we go. Right. So I'm going to try and get some of it in this shot here. So as you can see, it's not small by the size of my hands there. Packaging's pretty decent. It's uh, it's certainly a gargantuan figure, uh, shall we say? So uh, if we try and get a look here. There we go. So you can really see it's got, you know, these massive uh, studs uh, like uh, bone, you know, spikes extruding from it, almost like a, a horn all the way along its back. It's got sort of a real, real texture on this skin. It's got a real texture there on the skin. You can see sort of the, the base really has a lot to it there, the, sort of the rock that it's bursting out. Because of course, a purple worm like this can and does uh, have the ability just to uh, pop out of the ground, go through solid rock basically, so very nice there. Absolutely loads of teeth. Quite heavy mini, it's really not mini at all is it? Um, and uh, yeah, so purple worm on the bottom. It's quite hard to see. I don't know if I can, there we go. Just if I angle it there, you can just read it in the middle. It's one thing with these clear bases, it's maybe slightly harder to, to read some of the wording on them, but you can see terrain through them. So for me, that's a real nice feature. I know not everyone agrees with that. Certainly a lot heavier. I mean, the box was quite heavy, uh, but I didn't imagine it'd be quite that heavy. It feels solid. It doesn't feel like it's a uh, hollow, really, although I'm sure it's slightly hollow. I'm not instantly seeing loads of join marks, which is always nice. Um, sometimes you can really see where like bits and pieces have been put together. Um, I think there's, you know, one along the, the bottom of the head. Uh, a little bit, but uh, otherwise that is absolutely stunning. And uh, that's gonna scare the crap out of some people. But that was the Purple Worm for the Fangs and Talons set. Uh, it doesn't really come with any other information or anything in the box, but there you have it.